What's up everybody and we're back. This is Ronald with another tutorial. This one catering to antivirus scanners. Now I did some research and I found out that it, there were uh, a bunch of virus scanners out there. Uh, antivirus scanners that basically scan, uh, your, scan files without having to download software. This is a bonus because a lot of people don't like to download a, a whole bunch of software to their computer. And sometimes they just don't want to wait, you know, until there's a problem on their computer. And they have to go through, you know, through the process of looking for the, for viruses. And sometimes it's the, uh, the software on your computer slows down your computer. So in order to prevent that, you can run the file that you download on a um on your computer to um to one of these virus scanners now what you need to know is they're only um scan one file at a time so you need to have one file and they'll scan that one file then you can move on to the next one it might be a drawback to some people but not really it's is a uh, it's pretty sufficient and it's fast so bonus to them for um making making all this fast and uh basically easy to use all you do is uh go here and um choose the file that you want press, press the button and choose the file that you want on the computer and what it'll do is it'll go through that uh that uh file and it'll find the virus basically it run it shoots it through numerous amounts of antivirus software so it's probably like on this one it's probably like 30 or so maybe even 40 different types of antivirus software and it shoots it through um through each of those pretty quickly and at the end of um the results it tells you if your um software if their software had any viruses sometimes uh well a whole lot of times it uh tells you extra stuff sometimes there's not even um viruses sometimes it's um phishing products you know uh spyware that sort of thing so it catches a lot of um information on um how well your uh the the file is uh put together and if anybody put any bad guys in there you know so um this one is the name is on your screen virus tutorial uh virus total dot com excuse me just finished doing a um tutorial on basically tutorials <laughs> so they're still in my head but anyway this the next one is um on your screen now viruschief.com viruschief.com is like the first one but this one is a little bit different because i think it has a few less um virus scanner but it's still i mean antivirus um software but it's still pretty good you know I, what i do is if you know for it's for some reason um virus total isn't working as fast as i want it to be to or if a whole lot of people is using it at once sometimes they have like backup you know they have issues with the site maybe the site's down for maintenance i'll use uh virus chief to um run my software through and it does basically the same good job as virus total so both of them are, are good but if you want to choose one that you'll use over the other i say use virus total you know sorry virus chief but you know that's what i think oh um uh, let's go to the next one real quick oh and um before we before we go to the next one i need to mention this all of the um urls are um our websites will be on the sidebar. I don't know what side it is, but you know, you know what side it is. YouTubers, you know what side it is. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is viruscan.org. And this one actually has a list of all of his antivirus software that it uses to um, fish out or grab all the, um, the bad viruses and, and um, whatnot in your file. But as you know, like the other two, this one, excuse me, um, I don't have my uh, camera on the trap art. 
but this one um, can only scan one file at a time. I know for some of y'all it might be a bummer and you might not think it's worth it but think about it you download files all the time and say you go to some site you don't know in particular that happened to me today uh, I'll use a website and I downloaded a file that I didn't know and I said hey before I unzip this file maybe it would be smart to uh, run it through uh, antivirus software and I happen to use, um, I think it was either this one or Virus Total, and it caught a bad guy. <laughs> so, luckily, it, you know, and it did it pretty quickly and sufficiently. So, it's worth using. You know, for to be free is very, very useful. You know. So, yeah. And um, as I like to um, point out, I should have pointed out with the, um, the first one here, but it has all of the names on the sidebar here all of the names it runs its files through you know all the antivirus software names so some of them you may know some of them you may not know because what they do is they run in through um, all of the popular antivirus softwares basically available today and some of them may not be American well a lot of them may not be American uh, and as a matter of fact if we can get a little closer here you see um under countries the first three are not american basically we got an australian one we got a south korean one and we got a german one so yeah they're basically the best software from around the world so that's a bonus for them and the um first two so yeah use it all right let's move on this one is um ca CA's virus scanner, uh, CA's threat scanner, excuse me. And I believe I haven't used this one, uh, at least not recently, since they made their upgrade because they were uh, similar to the first three, but they've recently made some uh, changes, I believe. And I read this a little bit and I hope I read it right. But uh, what it says is basically that you can scan your whole computer. And it basically goes through all of the um, files on your home computer and uh, grabs all the bad, you know, software, antivirus, I mean, virus, um, viruses and whatnot that could be making your computer go slow and says, hey, this is a virus, um, you need to do something about it. And or, this is uh, a spyware, you know, let's get it off the computer, so yeah this one um like i said i haven't used it but i think it's a pretty good one i mean before they did the upgrade it was it was pretty decent so i think now it's, it's going to be even better i think it might be better than the first three so i haven't get a, got a chance to you know go through it yet so i'm hoping that it'll, that it's better than the other two because from what i read is it's pretty good so Let's move on to um, Filterbit. Filterbit is like the first three. It runs um, files. It runs one file through a numerous amount of antivirus software. And, oh, excuse me. And it has a maximum size of um, 20 megabytes. So that's, that's why this one comes in at number... Uh, Five. So yeah, still good, but file size is kind of small. But you know, it still it still works. So use these five, you know, at your own discretion. I think they're all pretty neat. I think they're all cool. I think they all work pretty well. Besides, they're free. So take advantage of stuff that's free, man. Come on, especially stuff that that's positive and free you know this is basically trying to help you clean up your computer make your computer go faster so I mean I think it's worth checking out but um you don't have to have to take my word for it just go ahead and check it out and try it one time and you may be surprised you might have a file on your computer that you know needs to be taken care of but um 
I think that's it for me. So, this is Ron signing out. See ya.